YouTube, here I am again, uh, finally showing you part two of my Amazing Spider-Man collection, uh, my new stuff. So, and also I want to give an update on people who haven't followed um, Spider-Man for a little while. This is my cat, Topher, by the way. Um, so where I really started collecting continually for my new stuff is at 539, Back in Black. I think it came out roughly when Spider-Man, I don't know, the f 3 was coming out, I think? Or the first one. Might have been the first one. I can't, I can't recall. So, and I'll show you, try them up close really quickly, but I want to go through the storylines really quickly. Back in Black happened after Civil War. Civil War, he exposes his identity, um, and uh, then he's a fugitive on the run, because um, he's now not registered, doesn't follow the pro-registration side. Um, then his family gets attacked, and may get shot. Here's him on a rampage, back in black, showing that he's, you know, out for vengeance. Um, then it follow, follows into Amazing Spider-Man and One More Day storyline. Um, at this point right now, there's still Amazing Spider-Man, Friendly, Spider Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, and Sensational Spider-Man. Um, so the back in black runs through those titles, same with um, the One More Day storyline. This is where they make a deal with the devil and Mephisto. And basically, if you guys don't know yet... You know, they save Aunt May, and but it makes, like, their marriage never happened. Um, like, nobody knows his identity. Like, the, like previous actions has happened before, but nobody knows who Spider-Man is again. And, yeah, so really throw this thing up in the, in the air. I think a lot of people were peeved off about that storyline because, well, gets rid of Mary Jane and Spider-Man's marriage. And, I think that's what it was supposed to do, though. It was really supposed to make you mad because, you know, because of their true love that they have for one another. So from there, it goes into three times a month. Hey, hey, bad kitty. I'm going to give him heck. Okay, try to show you guys quicker now. So, brand new day, whole bunch of titles here. Um, just setting up the new status quo title, Amazing Spider-Man, three times a month. Um, showing some new villains. That's all that basically all it is. Then you got here a new bad guy, Craven's first hunt, three issues. Um, then it goes into new ways to die, which um, is basically the Thunderbolts. Um, Norman Osborn's Thunderbolts going after Spider-Man. I guess I'll show you up closer. Um, character assassination is the next biggest storyline. Everything else is just I think small stuff right there. Uh, with the menace, the new menace. Um, and then over here, we have some s couple adventures with the Fantastic Four right there, one. And then next is going to follow into um, your Dark Rain stuff. So, let's try to show you this up really quickly before my Topher Cat tries to jump up on stuff again. Okay. Show you guys really quickly here. Okay, so these are just the extras. Spider-Man Extra 1, 2, 3. This happens after the... or around the one more day, right after that thing, the brand new day stuff. And there was so much happening on that they had to finally open up just these books just to um, follow up on some, some stuff. Um, some stories about the Hammerhead, Anti-Venom, stuff like that. Here's a big issue I wanted to show you guys. The uh, 583, here's the regular cover, and the Obama cover. Okay, so that's what we have there. This one, actually had to end up getting it on eBay for 75 bucks. This one, at my regular comic shop, bought it for the 4 bucks, it's it's worth 25 So, And this one, I think it's around 100 bucks it's worth. Very good issue, love it. Okay, on to some great stuff here. Let me see. This one, Flash Thompson issue, him in the war. Um, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, Hammerhead. Hammerhead stuff here, Spider-Man and that. Uh, that's some good stuff. That's uh, issue 575, 576. Um, yeah, now he's got Edmantium in his skull. Um, yeah, just not very important ones through those runs, I don't think. Well, let's see, back in black. Okay, let's start right there. Got something going on. Hey, okay, back in black, 539. There you go. Just quick
quickly show you. He's on the hunt for Wilson Fisk. Wilson Wilson Fisk was the um guy who set up the hit on it's supposed to be Mary Jane, but ended up being I think um the yeah, enemy. Yeah. There we go. Say so follows through, friendly and sensational. Just him back in the back in black costume. As you can see the back in black banner. Um, love that cover. A couple of issues. Eddie Brock back uh, here. This is uh, before he's anti venom, of course, and just him, the the symbiote in his head, trying to play games on him. Yeah, and then I have this uh, what if Spider-Man back in black. I can't remember. There's a couple short stories in there. I can't even remember what happens, but obviously right here, what if it was uh, Mary Jean who got shot instead of um, Aunt May? Uh, what else I'm gonna show you? Yeah, the covers. Mark Dorjevich is his covers. These are amazing covers. Um, one more day. Part one, two, three, four. Um, check him out. Search his name, Marco. Um, let's see if I can get. I can't get see his schedule. I'll try to print that out for you. Ask for me, and I'll, I'll I'll print out his name or type it out for you. Really beautiful, amazing covers. Love his work. Uh, yeah, the menace stuff. Kitty kit. Okay. What else do I want to show you? I just want to show you some special stuff here that I got. This video might be running a little long. Right here, issue 549, brand new day issue, Menace. This one is a special limited edition. I uh, don't think you can see there, but it's Dynamic Forces. Um, 2,000 copies of this variant cover. Let's see what I got through there. So, yeah, there's the Menace. Return to the spot. Remember that guy from the old show? That's all I ever do. I remember. Okay, here's some good ones. Variants. Norman Osborn. Um, Green Goblin. Issue. New Ways to Die. Some variants. Ah, Monkey Variant. That one's hilarious. Here we go. Anti-Venom, or White Venom. It's Eddie Brock. Back. Um, good stuff there. Here's some special issues. I'll try to hurry up this video. Uh, Marvel did Wolverine Appreciation um, covers where everything, no matter what it was, um, in that month I think it was, had some type of Wolverine variant cover. Here is a couple that I got at Calgary Comic Con 2008. Um, so this is issue uh, 590, Wolverine playing poker. And on the back here I got Yannick Paquette, who's a Canadian, I think from Montreal, um, to do a sketch. Beautiful, awesome sketch um, on the back cover. It's white. It's faded out of the original cover on the back, but it's a beautiful sketch that he did. I love it. Amazing. Here's another one. 592 in the same month. Um, here's a sketch on the back of Logan um, from Mark Brooks. That's who it was. Mark Brooks. So, yeah. 592 and 5... 90 for those ones. <sighs> See, that's the original of 592. Dark Rain, here we go. Beautiful stuff. 59. Okay. American Sun, part 1, part 2, part 3. Um, Norman Osborn wants to make his kid part of the Avengers, and he's got this American Sun. Um, costume for him, uh, but you know Norman's a badass, so he's got some tricks up his sleeve. You know, but this is amazing. This is awesome. I love this one. This is where he actually disguises himself as Venom, and then gets into the Avengers Tower and goes after Norman Osborn. Good stuff. So that's about it. Um, there's my collection. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and. Um, yeah, if you want to talk about Amazing Spider-Man at all, all your old stuff, new stuff, I'd uh, love to hear from you. Please subscribe, tell your friends, check you guys later.